Hello. I think it's pretty obvious that I have a huge amount of respect for startup founders. A lot of that comes from me having been a founder myself. And back in those dark ages of the startups, one of the things I wanted as a founder more than anything was the ability to talk to other founders, to hear from other founders, to really see if my lived experience matched anyone else, or if I was going through things that were simply unique to me and my startup. Unfortunately, back in those days, there was no YouTube, there were no founders telling their stories, and so we had to figure out other ways of getting into those conversations. What I love about today is not only are there thousands of founders giving you an inside look into the startups they're building and what they're experiencing, but we have the friendly YouTube algorithm that's also starting to serve up some founders that deserve even more recognition. And I seem to have gotten my YouTube algorithm dialed up just right because I've been getting introduced to a whole bunch of new founders with lower follower accounts that I think you as a founder would enjoy watching. Now, these folks aren't the crushing it, hustling, getting up at 4.30, staying up till midnight types. These are real founders who are telling real stories about what they're going through as they're working to build their startups. I've gathered a handful of them in no particular order, but I wanted to share them with you. And if you find this interesting, I've got a whole bunch of other founders that I've been lucky enough to follow on YouTube. I'm happy to share their stories as well. So in no particular order, here are a bunch of startup founders who are transparently sharing their stories, and I sincerely cannot stop watching. Let's start with Dao Chi. Dao Chi is a software engineer and solo founder pursuing his startup from Germany. He brings an incredibly genuine and really soft-spoken vibe. And what I really appreciate about Dao Chi is no matter what's going on with his startup, He's still kind of positive and optimistic about it. He shares the down things, but he also kind of carries you through with this energy he has and this passion for the startup he's building. He's definitely hustling, but he's not making hustling his brand. In fact, what I love most about Dao Chi's channel is that he's building a tool for YouTubers. So he's going through the same challenges with his channel that his target market is encountering. And watching his growth, as both a founder and as a content creator has been amazing. Next up, Lena Colucci, a recent YC alum. She's a founder of an AI startup and she's really taking you through what the Y Combinator experience was like. Like Dao Chi, Lena does a great job of taking you along on the roller coaster of being a startup founder by sharing both the extreme highs and the extreme lows. And she's not afraid to be transparent and share where she thinks the startup has done something poorly or maybe she's messed up. So if you're a founder who's looking for transparency about the Y Combinator experience, you might want to check out Lena. Now, if I had to pick one founder to emulate in terms of work-life balance because he does such a great job of it, it's Matthias Rossini. While we don't get a lot of content about Matthias's work time, we do learn a lot about all the other things he's managing to accomplish from regular runs to hanging out with his friends, all while he's building a startup in Europe. It's a well-produced series that deviates from the usual kind of watch me code for hours in time lapse and really takes you into the life of a founder beyond just the startup they're building. And again, I think demonstrating what appears to be a really healthy balance of working on a startup, but also taking the opportunity to live your life and see your friends. If you're looking for another outside of the Bay Area type founder experience, I highly recommend Fiora. Fiora is a former Amazon product manager who is now a solo founder building her startup in Seattle, Washington. With her videos, you not only get insights into her experience as a solo founder, but you'll also get a glimpse of what the community is like in Seattle and the types of support they have for founders building their startups there. Again, being a resident of the Pacific Northwest, this one is especially interesting to me, but I think her learnings are applicable to founders everywhere. 
Okay, the final one, uh, way more followers than anybody else, but it's Jacob Sucks at Code. And I, and I wanted to highlight this because he has a lot of followers for good reason. Not only does Jacob give you a transparent view into the life of a founder, especially a technical founder, but he manages to do so in an incredibly entertaining way. This guy's energy is just infectious. The content is always engaging and always informative, and I walk away learning something about the plight of modern day founders, uh, successful or otherwise. So, uh, Jacob, definitely worth the watch time. Highly suggest you start following him, and you will soon learn why he has as many followers as he does. Okay, this last one, those are your five founders that I'm following and, and enjoying being along for the ride on their journey. But this last one is a former founder, and he runs a channel called The Failed Founder. While Tashi isn't a current startup founder, he is a former founder, and he's got a ton of insight and experience that he's taking the time to share. What's more, he's super engaged in comments and with his community, so that provides you with yet another way to get access to his awesomeness. If you're seeking a kind of virtual mentor, plus somebody who, you know, has a grumpy rant from time to time, I highly suggest you start following Tashi. You'll definitely want to subscribe to The Failed Founder. So there you go. You got five founders. You got a bonus one. All people who are transparently sharing their stories about their startup journey, sharing insights that I hope are helpful to you, either as a startup founder or somebody who wants to help startups. I highly suggest subscribing to all of them and providing them with all the likes and comments that you can. They're really promising channels that I've found both informative and thoroughly entertaining. Until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.